This is part three of our Dreadfleet video series, The Shade Wraith. The story of Captain Vangheist and the crew of the Shade Wraith, like many ghost stories, is a tale of treachery and woe. They're tales of a vessel known as the Stormbreaker that was employed by the light mage Albrechtus and sent north into the Sea of Chaos. It was there the captain and crew tempted by secrets of immortality betrayed Albrechtus, shooting him and dumping his body in the ocean. If it was immortality they sought, they found it in those dark waters, heading further and further north until they passed into the dread realm at the top of the world, eventually returning as a ship of mist crewed by the damned. Not even the water would touch such a vessel, and it now floats above the waves. Count Noctilus found the vessel and with his necromatic powers bound it to his will. The trick with this ship is it had so many details that were interesting that you want to pick out, but at the same time you were kind of giving it this overall ethereal look. And then you didn't you didn't get to pick out any of those details. Like there's little it looks like little ghosts are kind of in the water holding the ship up. To go through and paint all of it, you'll you'll lose all that kind of ethereal ship look, so I don't know. There's not very many people that painted these models or played this game, I don't think. It would have been cool to see if other people have done this ship other ways. So I got another neat idea they could have done to this game is made it so you could customize some ships. Pick your own sails. You have like a mermaid on the front or a big squid or a big sword. or It would have been neat anyway if you could customize your own ship. I'm reading this now and it says it's covered in foul streamers of rot, but I thought they were seaweed chunks. I was quite proud of the seaweed I did on this model. I used brown and then I highlighted that with a green and I don't usually use totally different colors like that. So I tried to tie it together with a brown wash. I thought that worked pretty good. So you'll see a lot of footage on my rotten seaweed painting. As far as the Shade Wraith goes, I had struggle with this model. I was trying to make it look ghostly and the green made it have kind of a toothpaste look, I thought, at stages. It sort of got kind of toothpaste-y looking. I sort of overdid some of the washing and dry brushing and then I kind of overdid the highlighting. I tried to add a bunch of uh, white highlights to sort of give an ethereal look. And please let me know what you think of the rusty cannons in the comments. The rusty cannons kind of take away from the ghostly spirit ship vibe, but I wanted to add some of that spot color. And anyway, I gave it rusty cannons. I'm not, I'm not too sure about that. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, take care. Stay tuned for part four, where we look at the undead leviathan fish raised from the depths, rotted out by Skaven Ratmen, the Scabrous.